Hello everyone, Lady De Winter here, and today we are in Seven Days to Die. We're in my other game, my shared game, which usually has two players, but my other player is out sick. So we are going to just do this by ourselves. Uh, Beth really doesn't want to record much anymore, so we are going to be doing this one alone, unless we get another player on here who really wants to join and play and have fun. So, now this is the one with the water tower that I converted into the wedding cake. Kind of looks like a cake, three-tiered cake, but you know, hey, it works. Give me a, give me a break, it works. Um, I'm not sure when Horde Night is on this server now, because I don't remember when my last Horde Night was. So, um, that's a problem because I'm not necessarily ready for a horde night. So let's go downstairs and see if we are ready for a horde night. Oh, I'm hungry. Well, that's not a problem because in this particular game, I have a ton of food. I have so much food, in fact, that it's frightening. Uh, looks like I just went through a horde night or I went, huh, I've got snowballs. Okay. So, oh, that's right. The last time Beth and I played, we raided another town. Or we went around raiding town. So I have a bunch of stuff to put away. Now, going on my last video where I talked about where have I been, I'm going to now explain to you guys where I've been. Uh, I have been basically depressed. Um, basically not feeling much like playing at all. Um, tired, icky feeling, uh, thinking that I was actually going to quit YouTube at one point. I had thought about doing that, uh, mainly because I felt nobody was enjoying the videos anymore. Oh God, I have two of those in there? Yes, I do. So anyway, um, that's where I had been. I had all but decided to quit YouTube. I was going to do just Ladies World and, um, leave it at that. Then, after a few days, I realized that I was bored out of my mind not doing YouTube anymore. I had had all kinds of plans on things I was going to do, and then the weather changed. Yes, lucky me, the weather changed. Why am I using a number five? Okay, that makes no sense to me, but okay. Anyway, um... So I decided that I was going to quit doing YouTube and just do Ladies World occasionally and that kind of stuff. And then I realized, like I said, that I was bored. So here's what I'm going to do. Here's the future of the channel. I have no idea what the future of the channel is. I really do not have an idea of what the future of the channel is. Um... I know what I would like to do. I know what I would like to see. I have five of those. I've got seven water. That should be enough for a little road trip. Um, one of the series in Seven Days to Die I plan on doing is where I go around and I convert um, POIs like this one into a battle horde base. So, yeah. Now, I was building garages on my bases, and I kind of decided that that's kind of a moot point. So, okay, that's really dumb to open those up. And, yeah, okay, now, all right, now we're going to take that and close the doors. Um, so that is one of the things I plan on doing in this, uh, in with the game, is just building bases all over the place uh, for Horde Night, Horde Night bases. Especially since I have no idea wh when uh, Horde Night is going to be. Now we have this lovely base here that I have not really built, but um, put together for uh, use on Horde Night. So, as you see, it's got some good stuff around it. and Now over here, there's this wide open field right here that's really kind of cool. I was actually thinking about building a base out of uh, cement right here. In the old style that Beth and I used to do. I was sincerely thinking about that for a while. 
I can't. Oh, because I'm on the motorcycle. Okay, yeah. So, anyway, um, I was thinking about that, which I might yet do. I might just go ahead and do that. Uh, so, yeah. Let me know if you would be interested in seeing a base that I would build out of concrete or if you would prefer to see me convert bases. Now, see, here's one here that I'm not sure of. Let me go punch it and see. See, I punch them to see how strong they are. Like, that's only 300. Now, there's a mobile home over there. Oh, did I walk off and leave my motorcycle? I did. I walked off and left my motorcycle. That's really stupid. Where'd I put my motorcycle? Huh. Yeah, that's really kind of dumb. I don't know why I would do that. There it is right there on the ground. Okay, now. So. Okay, let's not stand on it. Let's just get on it. There we go. Now, I want to go over here because I thought I saw a mobile home like the one that I'm currently using in another... Hmm. No. No idea where that went. Uh, maybe that's the one over there. It's very much like the mobile home I'm currently using in my other game. Now, this also has a bunker base in it. The only problem with the bunker base is right now... Okay, let's go here. Uh, the only problem with the bunker bases right now is the fact that they are, um, hmm, uh, that the zombies can dig. See, that's a thousand. Now, this is like the mobile home that I have in my other game that I converted to a... Okay, yeah. I think I already conquered that. That would definitely have to go. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think this is very much like the mobile home in my other game. But, um, yeah. So this is kind of a cool POI to convert. I don't know if I really want to yet. Well, where's the front door? Uh, that's the bathroom. Oh, it's over here. So that is one thought for a place for a base. And then my next thought would be this over here, which is a... Yeah, hold on, let me get... I'm, I'm having a little bit of trouble with allergy today, so my eyes are running really bad. So I'm having a real hard time seeing today. But this would make another good base. I could actually turn a base out, out of this. So, yeah. Oh, my eyes are running so bad. Hold on, guys. I got a dab. Um, it's allergy season for me, so, you know, that's the fun part of it all. But I could convert this into a base also. I would have to do something up here that would make that shack a little bit stronger. And from what I understand, the zombies can now dig. So, that is... Okay, I don't need that, but I do need this one. I haven't used it. Okay, so. Although I don't know if Beth has used that, so I'll keep that for Beth. So. Okay, and I think, oh, that one's still locked. Do I have any lock picks with me? No, I don't. So we'll we'll leave that one for now. Um, I will. A Santa hat! Look at that. I can be Santa Claus. How utterly cool. They didn't take the Christmas stuff out yet. That's funny. I think that's kind of funny, guys. Um, so anyway, I'm going to do some videos here and there. I'm going to do some streams here and there. There's not really going to be a schedule, guys, because it's going to have to be when I feel up to it. And like sometimes like today, I really probably shouldn't be streaming because of my allergies being so bad that I'm having trouble seeing, which I think is kind of funny. Okay, murky water. I'll take murky water. Um... But it, it's kind of annoying in a way to try to play like this because, you know, you're, you can't see anything. I'm having a devil of a time seeing because my eyes are so runny right now. <coughs> so, okay.
Well, usually this has a door, but the door's gone, so. But this would be another POI I could turn into a base. Uh, but we really don't need any more bases in this town. What I think I need to do is, oh, that could be sold to the trader. What I think I really need to do is go to another town and build a new base. What the heck is that? Okay, I hear somebody coming, so yeah. Now, I have the zombie set to a uh, nomad level right now, which is stronger than I had it before. Was that a small horde? No, that was just a single zombie. Okay. So, you know, which is what I had it set to before. Or, no, not what I had it set to before. Before I had it set to uh, adventurer. So, yeah. So, my thinking is I might want to go to another town because we pretty much have looted pretty much all of this. Um, you know, there's not that much going on here. So, And there are other towns and we just have not really explored much out of the region. Now, this is where I first spawned in at. And I did not make a base here. I didn't make a base in there, mainly because it just didn't seem logical to do so. So, yeah. And that's the cold biome. I really haven't explored it much. Maybe I should go up and explore the cold biome. Let's go explore the cold biome a little bit. A little bit more. This is the road to the cold biome, so yeah. I just drove around it a little bit. We really didn't explore it a whole bunch. Uh, one of the reasons I... Whoa, I almost bottomed down on that one. Uh, one of the reasons I don't explore that as much is the cougars that run around. Um, I'm not sure just how strong they are yet. So, yeah. But yes, viewers, I've finally gotten brave enough to play this my, uh, alone myself, mainly because I can spawn in ammo when I need to. If I had to try to play this without being able to shoot the zombies by myself, uh, you would be witnessing my death every ten minutes. So, yeah. And that's why I don't play this by myself without ammo. Now see, this would be a really good place for a base in through here. Oh, look at the deer. Oops, my arm slipped. So, this would be a really good place for a base over here by this lake. That would be a good, good place for a base. In between two cities or towns, of which, with, which would give me uh, stuff and things that I need. So, yeah. So... Now, here's the cold biome. I've been around it a little bit, but not a whole bunch. Oh, God. Before I go in there, I probably ought to put some gas in my bike. Oh, I've got 100%. Okay, great. Okay, now, here we go. Now, we can drive around this town without worrying. And I think I want to go this way first. I think we went down this way at one point. I'm not sure. I don't remember. But I think I want to go like smack dab through the middle of town and check it out. So we'll go down this road here. Great big factory where hundreds of people probably lived before. And it's raining in the snow biome. That's always brilliant. Rain in the snow biome. So, yeah. Yeah. I might look around here to for a place to build a, a POI base. And the reason I say that is because that way I could just ride up here and stay a couple days and loot like crazy and then go back to um, that's a wolf. Go back to uh, doing things. That's the cougar that I was talking about. 
poor little bunny rabbit. Run. He'll eat you. Okay, now let's see. What do we have here? Um, a road that goes this way and a road that goes this way. I say we go this way. Ooh, what is this? Let's go around the front of this place and see what this is, because this might be interesting. Oh, okay, it's a shotgun messiah. Yeah, it's a store. No, they don't make very good bases. They really don't. And that's the gunsmith over oh, and I ran into a sign. That's brilliant. So there we go. Now it's snowing. Now it's decent. And that is the trader, it looks like. No, that's just a food store. Oh, and there's a cougar, so I'm going to have to go right past him. Or behind him. Yeah. So, you're cold. Find clothing. Yeah, okay. We're headed back towards the green biome where I can go out and put my coat on. Because I do have a coat with me. I have a coat. I just didn't remember to put it on because I'm an idiot. So, yeah. We'll head back out this way and, yeah. Yeah, we'll go out this way a little bit and we'll put on our coat out here. Okay, yeah, see. Now, see, this would even be a good place to, to build a base here. This little sand trees right here would be a great place for a base. Oh, I thought I had a coat with me. I don't have a coat. Well, that sucks, okay. Well, guys, I guess we're going to have to do a little bit of cheating here because I need a coat. Um, jacket, puffer coat. I like these better. Okay. Yeah, see, I had a, I had a puffer coat on. That makes no sense, but okay. Let's go back and do a little bit more driving around the uh, area here. See, there's a road. It's probably the road I came in on, I don't know. But yeah, this is some kind of a big manufacturing plant over here. Um, yeah. Wow. Yeah, it is a big man. Let's go out front and see what this place is. Because that's kind of cool that it's got that kind of a wall and a gate and everything. And Yeah. Oh, there's bear in there, too. Huh. Our junk. Okay, junkyard. Huh. Okay. And it extends clean over to the shotgun messiah. No, no, it does not. Yeah, see, it stops here, I think. Yeah. Okay. It just looked like it did. All right. See, there's lots of looting opportunities in this little town, too. And that's something I like about it. But the problem is is there's no place to really build a base unless you build it yourself out of stone or concrete or something. Now see, that's the, that's the base that Flash took right there, which has got a bunch of underground stuff, which is kind of cool. So, yeah, it's got a building, a stone building and a bunch of underground stuff, but that could become a problem too because they can dig now so but there's a few places that aren't really bad for bases I mean place like this though I think I'd like to go high I would like to go higher for the uh, base because it's Oh, that's Mo Power Electronics. There's another cougar, mountain lion. I don't understand those. That has me kind of confused because what makes them think 
that just because it's a, a cold biome, there's a mountain lion. There's mountain lions all over the country. You know, just not just in the cold biomes. There's mountain lions everywhere. Now, see, I could take one of these wooden buildings and turn it into a, a base. So, that's something. But, anyway, guys, I'm going to cut off here. There's a water tower. Huh. I'm going to cut off here, and I'm going to thank you for watching. I'm going to remind you that you're never too old to game. And I'll see you in the next 7 Days to Die video. Or stream. Or whatever. Who knows? Well, i got to go out there and see what that is. Bye-bye for now.